Pastor George Pearsons, welcome to Inside the Vision, where we talk about the vision of Kenneth Copeland Ministries, what we've done, where we're going, where we're headed, and also about your own vision. We are so thankful for all of the partners who support Kenneth Copeland Ministries and support the vision of the ministry. You know, one of the things that's so important to KCM is a word that Brother Copeland received many years ago. It was the revival capital of the world. And the Lord told him, you are going to build it. That's a very, very important part of Kenneth Copeland Ministries, and we'll be talking more about it. But first, I think it's important that we talk about revival as a topic. What does revival mean? We see revival that's going on right now. We've seen revival that's taking place in the past. And now we want to really delve into that to be able to set it up to talk about the revival capital of the world. And to do so, I have someone who majors in the subject of revival. You know him from Flashpoint. He's also the host of Revival Radio, and his name is Gene Bailey. So I'm gonna give him a call and ask him if he would be able to be on the broadcast with us today to talk about revival. So if you just, excuse me for just a moment, let me give him a call and... Hello? Gene! Hey, Pastor George. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm so glad to talk to you. I'm so excited. I am here on the set of Inside the Vision. And Gene, we're talking about revival. Oh, The past that's great. revivals, the future revivals. We're yeah. talking about revival, and you're the man. <laughs> okay. So okay. listen, I want to see if you can come over to Inside the oh, Vision I, set. Oh, I would love to. I'd love to. Really? Sure. That's awesome. When can you come? Uh, right now. Right now, that's tremendous. Okay, Gene, head over here. I'll be okay. waiting for you. On my way. Uh, Pastor George. Gene Bailey. <laughs> How are you? Oh, oh it's good. so good to see you. Good to see you. And I'm so thankful for what you're doing on the Victory Channel through Thank you. all of the Flashpoint and as well as Revival Radio. And this is something that the Lord has really put in your heart. I've watched it grow. Because you and I have known each other for a long time. Yes, we have. And I've seen that grow on the mm -hmm. inside of you yeah. and how important it is that we know about not only the revival that's taking place today, but the revivals that have taken place that have led us up to where we are. That's right. So are you ready? I am. Let's do it. Gene, take a seat over here. So Gene, you just came over from the Revival Radio set and this has been such a big part of your life. How did yes. that all start? Well, it's your fault. Pastor Me. George, it's your Me. fault. Of course. <laughs> over, <laughs> over nine years ago, uh, we were having a move of God that was really pouring at the church at EMIC. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I started showing you a few things of memorabilia that I had from past revivalists. And I think I had something of orals and, and so we, it became, you showed me th more things that you had yes, and you yes, way yes. out did me. Yep. But, and so, uh, you know, and so we were talking about things and we talked about your times with oral and, yeah. and it just really sparked something. And so we started, uh, <clears throat> at that time we had an internet radio uh, network program that we had started. Right, so it's like, right. let's go talk about revivals. And so I, I talked to Chris Griffith and, and said, hey, well, let's do this for radio. This would be fun, you know? I mean, how many is there, like 10? You know, <laughs> yeah, I didn't right. show my ignorance, you know, <clears throat> yeah, about, yeah. and so we started and dug in and, and you know, and of course the rest is history, but right. so, that's so, how so in all of the study that you've done, everything that you've, you've looked at, you, you hear the word revival. What does that mean? Can you, can you pare that down into a, a simple mm -hmm. definition for the people? Well, revival means to revive or to bring back to life, um, which means that once <laughs> it was alive, it was alive so we're reviving no it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I think it means, you know, spiritually or in the religious world, uh, unfortunately, revival has gotten narrowed down to a two-week meeting every yeah. year, and, yeah. and that's so far from the yeah. from what God intended for revival. He intends for us to live in a state of revival that sure. we're supposed to continue. David stirred himself up in the Lord. Yes. That's revival. Yes. Gene, talk to us about some of these revivals that have taken place. Give us kind of a, if if you will, a a, a landmark of these revivals that have happened. Well, I kind of hit the, the hot topics here you know, when it comes to revivals. I mean, everybody likes to talk about Azusa Street. Sure. And Azusa was great. You know, uh, William Seymour, son, he was a one-eyed son of a uh, sharecropper. Yeah. And he was black on top of that. I mean, you... This was not acceptable in those days. Right, right. Uh, but before that, what people don't know, he attended Charles Parham School in Topeka, Kansas. 
What a lot of people don't realize with William Seymour, he had not received the manifestation of the Holy Spirit when he came to California. So somebody paid for his travel. He comes out there. He He's only, <laughs> only to find out the church is locked because they don't want that. So, <laughs> And he, he's like, well, wow. you know, God, you brought me here. Yeah. So we went to uh, Bonnie Bray Street and held meetings. And well, we all know what happened after that. So a lot of us tend to think, Pastor George, that there's not a, a opposition to revival. It's just mm-hmm. God does something and blah, it's just, yeah. And, yeah. and that happens, yes. But there's always, the enemy doesn't want that to happen. Yeah. The enemy never wants you to get closer to God and show, let him be the spotlight. Uh, but what happened there sparked so many things. Mm -hmm. What I did not know was what was going on over in England. What was going on over in William Seymour, they were, he was talking was what going on at the Welsh Revival, which had actually started (laughs) around the same time uh, with Evan Roberts. Now, let's talk about Evan Roberts. Please. 26 year old young man. Yep. uh, And he worked in the mines, was not considered to be anything of any any con- big concern. Yeah. Uh, Seth Joshua, who was one of the local clergy, was praying for a revival. And he said, Lord, send revival, but don't let it come through any of us in the clergy. <laughs> because he knew <laughs> that they, the clergy would try and yeah. control it and right. you know make right. it. Well, it didn't happen. It, it happened exactly like he prayed. And so here's a son of him. Uh, you know, his father didn't understand. Evan Roberts would walk around the city and his dad thought he was uh, mental. He thought he had, a, actually his father tried to have him committed wow. because he was wow. walking around talking to himself. Wow. Well, he wasn't <clears throat> talking to himself. He was walking around praying. And I thought yep. about that. Well, we, you know, you just didn't really hear about that much th- then. So here he is walking around praying for God for an outpouring. And his prayer, bend me, Lord. Uh, I like what Lance Walnow said. I heard this first time from him. He said, revival is God pouring out. Reformation is us giving back to God. Very so there's there's a yeah. up and a down. Back and forth. So the purpose yeah. of revival is reformation. Yeah. If it doesn't change you, which means you change your culture <laughs> and yeah. those around you, then it's not it's not really a revival. Gene, take me on a tour. I, well, I gotta show you this. Okay. Because we talk about the revival capital of the world. Brother, come talk to every available voice. Right. This was the absolute cutting edge media a long time ago in the 1800s. This is the way they showed the gospel. What this, this is a lantern. Okay. So fire would come through the lantern. Right. There right. was a slide. Did you see the little place where there yes, was a slide yes. would go through here? And you would watch. And this is how they would tell the story oh my of Jesus and the gospel. That's this is, is mass amazing. media communications. How many people <laughs> got saved from this? And this is the way they uh, evangelized a lot of the uh, Indians. They showed about uh, you know who Jesus was and the gospel story. Right. This was mass media. Right. Uh, and there's great things. So we have all kinds of stuff. Of course, we have radios and vintage stuff, pictures. Here's uh, <coughs> William that. Branham. Wow. Uh, wow. You know, I don't believe there's been anyone quite like William Branham yeah. since then. Who he said was how, how he would have the words of knowledge. It was like he could pull himself up over a wall and see into someone's life. Yes. And, and yes. As long, so, I mean, I Gifts think that's interesting. Gifts now, this is one of my favorite mm. pieces. It's small. But this is a certificate, Pastor George, from 18, this one's from 1866. Okay. In the turn of the century, this is how people evangelized the world, global missions. In the global mission, you go, but this is like you say, what, wow. what is this stamp? This was a certificate yep. given to the young people. I'm talking about Sunday school kids. Sunday school children would build ships like, sort of like this yep. in real life that would go evangelize the world. And they would buy these for 10 cents. Look at that. Kids. That's amazing. Sunday school That's children amazing. would do that. So this is, you know, this so much stuff. We have Bibles here. Of course, this is a book that was second only to the, uh, to the Bible in popularity, Pilgrim's Progress, what that did. Uh, and then books. We have so many books. Uh, up here in the blue is the complete history. This is only three books. Mm-hmm. It's about 100 books the complete daily uh, uh, reports from the Civil War. It's the War Department's logs of what happened. So in there, you say, well, why do you have that? Because God was doing stuff in the middle of these wars. He was doing stuff. Little pockets of revival would break out. 
and it's an amazing time. Of course, we have all sorts of books, and uh, this is the only part of what we have. Of course, there's the big uh, buffalo here, and so you say, well, Gene, why do you have a buffalo? <coughs> yes. Uh, it, this actually is a, a nod back to the turn. FDR uh, said that the buffalo was protected, and what that did was invited the Indians in Oklahoma. It gave us an opportunity to go in and witness there. So wow. that's that's why he's there. There's wow. a little statue of Smith Wigglesworth yes, yes. up there <laughs> preaching the word. I think you have that one. I have that one too. Yeah, so I, I mean, <clears throat> yep. it's amazing. Yep. Mass media came along. Um, and we wow. also did a huge uh, uh, dive into the Reformation. How did the Bible come to us? Hmm. You know, and it's mm -hmm. really quite a story. It's too much to yep. go into, but these are books like this is yep. um, the 1611 King James Bible that's in English as well as uh, Latin. And so the fact that we have a Bible that you and I can pick yes. up and read, yes. it's so many people lost their lives. Yeah. So it's an For amazing thing. to be thing. able to do that. Now, this is one we just did, Pastor George, a show here. This is comparing uh, what happened with the American Revolution yeah. versus the French Revolution. And when you look at these two things side by side, this is where the beginning of liberalism and progressive thought mm. tried to invade mm -hmm. in America. But yet the men that did, stood by our founding fathers, what yep. they did here, yep. established America to be to God. We dedicated it to God. Brother Copeland talks about this. Uh, the first act of Congress, the first thing George Washington did is he prayed. prayed. Yeah. He said, this is, yeah. you are our God and we will be your people. And so that's why America Amazing. shall be saved. Praise God.